welcome back to On The Shelf Gaming, the only show on the internet where you can learn her name! It's <gasps> Isabella, Isabella Keys. I would have never guessed Keys <laughs> as the last name. Isabella, I would have guessed because we'd already heard it. Yeah, but we've heard that a couple times now. Yeah, I don't know. She really, uh... Kind of came off like a Williams to me. Yeah, you know. You know, Williams, they usually commit lots of international terrorist <laughs> acts. Maybe a McGee. Whoa! That was the weakest interrogation in the world. <laughs> you can consider this an interrogation. Okay, I'll talk. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't interrogate me at all. Okay, well, I'm going to interrogate you. No! <laughs> My Achilles heel! Being interrogated! God. Not even being interrogated, just like the formal introduction of an interrogation and now you're in one. <laughs> right. What you mean? Hey, I can't say anything. I don't want to be interrogated. Mm -mm. <laughs> if someone brings a fuck, if someone's like, I want to know all the information you have, and they just even like gesture to a pair of pliers in their pocket. I'll tell them fucking everything. Oh, yeah. They won't be able to shut- they'll have to torture me to shut me up. <laughs> no, not the hot girl! See, now he doesn't look like a zombie. He just looks like a crazy old man. Yeah. Well, luckily, because Isabella told us, we know that he was turning, so he is a zombie. He he just doesn't look like one yet. Oh, okay. I mean, he's already old. He's already an old man, so... He's, like, halfway there, as is. True. That's why old people are so easy to convince to go out and vote. They don't think anymore. They just like, <laughs> whatever you say, brains. <laughs> oh, God, he's having a heart attack. Do you think being a zombie, like, fixes your body in a way? Because, like, he definitely should not be moving around like that. He has a cane. <laughs> Probably. I think, because with a lot of the kinds of stuff that makes it hard to get around you're not literally incapable right. of getting around you can't get around because it hurts really really bad right and so when you turn into a zombie and you're you're no longer registering any pain there's nothing to stop you right well yeah it's like well what about like full inability because like i think about shows like the walking dead and granted i haven't seen all the walking dead but i watched like the first five or six seasons of the walking dead mm -hmm. i think and I didn't see a single zombie in a wheelchair. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if they just stood up or if those are all the ones that were crawling. But then again, the ones that were crawling usually had the bottom half of their body hacked off. Right. Well, I don't know about in The Walking Dead specifically. My assumption in something like that would be that if you couldn't walk because you were paralyzed, you probably would still not be able to walk. You don't think the rigor mortis would just, like, hold everything together? No. Well, because presumably, and obviously it depends on what zombies we're talking about, because zombies in different... Medium. Oh, yeah. Like, they zomb work differently. The zombies but, where it's, like, a fucking, like, like a T-virus, like, in Resident Evil, I can see them just getting up from their wheelchairs. Yeah. But, like, it, in the case of these guys, it seems like they're still operating on their basic human anatomy. Right. So it's like, if I can't walk around because I've got bad knees... And they hurt horribly because it's bone on bone. The zombie's not going to care about that. I'm going to be walking perfectly fine. Right. They're going to walk those legs straight off. Right. But it, if I literally can't work because I broke my spine at one point, then they're not going to be able to do anything about that. It's not that there's no pain. It's that there's no nerve signals getting down. So I'd say at least in the case of Dead Rising, it wouldn't fix a problem like that. It would fix most other problems. Because it's like... If you turn Dr. House, for instance, right. coincidentally coming up it's for no particular reason <laughs> into a zombie, uh, his whole thing, there's multiple times in the show where he like finds something that temporarily relieves his leg pain. Right. And he's out jogging and shit. He's jogging and doing so, kick flips off a skateboard right, in the parking like, lot. If the zombie thing does that same thing, it's going to be out there jogging towards your brain. Right. God, I was going to ask if I was... It's funny you mentioned that I was about to bring up House. <laughs> My, I was going to ask if, do you think if House... If there was like a zombie solution uh -huh. to pain, if House would go for it? Because he did fucking 
everything. Remember he that did. episode where he was like pretending to ha- be somebody with cancer so he could get like a morphine fucking <laughs> yeah. s- fount like installed in his brain? Yeah. <laughs> No, House is really... And and the thing is, because, like, obviously, it paints House as the bad guy for abusing drugs and stuff. Right. But, like, when you get right down to it, horrible, excruciating pain. All the fucking time. Like, don't get me wrong, House is a terrible guy. But when you're in horrible, excruciating pain all the time, it just kind of does that to you. Right. So you got to give House just a little bit of leeway. Not not a lot. Not enough that it, like, fixes the fact that he's a terrible person. Right. But. Well, and, and here's the thing. I've been on Vicodin before. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it does not work the way House, you know, portrays it as working. And, like, you know, House is a very, from what I understand from the, like, actual medical community, it's pretty based in reality. Um, but the thing about Vicodin is just like any drug, it loses its effect. So, you know, like you see, you see how fucking just dry taking those fucking things with that. That was the most unrealistic part to me. <laughs> the fact that he could just put a pill in his mouth and swallow it without any water or a chaser or anything. I couldn't be me. But, but anyway, say. but anyway, it's the fact that he like, he'll shelve 12 of those things in a fucking day. He probably wasn't even feeling him anymore. Right. Like, yeah, he was still getting high, but the pain, it probably wasn't going anywhere. No. Well, I mean, he basically says as much all the time. He's that he's just, like, he's it's barely hurts. doing anything. But it's just like, yeah, because, and that's one of the things, because once upon a time, you could go to the doctor and be like, hey, I have reoccurring pain. And doctors were like, well, we have a, a pill that fixes that. Here's a narcotic. Right. In the modern day, they don't do that as a general rule. Right. They don't give you narcotics unless you really, really, really need them. And I put three reallys because if you only really, really need them, they, they tell won't. you, sorry, we want to do something different instead. Right. We're not just and, going to get another drug addict. Right. Which is understandable. Like, it's kind of a, a backlash to overprescribing. Now they're pre- not prescribing them sometimes when maybe they need to. But at the same time, it's like, they're so terrible for you. They're so bad for your liver, and it's like, especially for people who are like our age, mm. if you have a, a something pop up that they're like, you know, this would probably fix it, but you're going to need to live for another like 40 to 60 years, and uh, it's not going to fix it for 40 to 60 years. Right. And when it stops fixing it, you're really, really going to have a problem. Right. Because then you're just fucking, you're back to square one in terms of the problem. But you're and all, your liver is fucked up. And your liver's fucked. And you might be addicted to drugs. Oh, yeah. Well, because it, it, it's so, it's so hard to prescribe someone narcotics and then not become addicted. Right. If they need them regularly for a long time. My mom Because your body <laughs> really, really likes narcotics. Well, and my mom, I don't remember this conversation at all, but this is a true story according to my mother. And mm-hmm. I, I, I have reason to believe my mom. I don't know why my mom would lie about this, but I just do not remember this at all. Um, but I, when, the reason I was on Vicodin is because I got my appendix taken out. Ah. Um, and it was very, it was very bad from what I understand. Cause like I was in pain all that day, but I didn't realize it was an, it was an appendix thing. Cause all I knew is I talked to my dad cause my dad had his appendix taken out when he was a kid. Mm. And he said that he was the most mind boggling, crippling pain he'd <laughs> ever been in. But I just felt kind of constipated. So I'm like, oh, so there's just, um, there's no way. Well, the reason mine was not that bad is because it had already burst. Ah. Um, it had been leaking all that day. So Oops. like, the, it was Get doing- Get away from me! It was doing damage to my body and making me really sick, but it was not like swollen like it was going to explode. And that's why it didn't hurt that bad. Right. Um, well, after a full 24 hours and I'm just fucking miserable and getting sicker, um, my mom came to check on me and my fever was really high. And so she said, okay, let's, I'm going to give you a choice. Uh, do you want to go to the doctor, um, to see if you're not constipated or do you want a suppository <laughs> to make sure? And I'm like, well, what's a suppository? Like, it's a big pill. I'm going to put up your butt. And I'm like, I'll get in the car. Yeah, no shit. Uh, <laughs> um, so I go to the fucking doctor. They give me an ultrasound and it's, it's my appendix got to get taken out. Um, and so they do that, and then they prescribe me ah, Vicodin. No! Fuck, that is We're insane. We're dead! No! <laughs> so, they give me Vicodin for the pain. Um, I don't suppose we have to wait that whole time again, do I we? hope not. 
No, no thank God. Thank this is like Christ. 10 seconds ago. Thank Christ. All right, we're just going to leave those guys alone. Yeah, I don't they have, they have just as much right to live in this mall as we do. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I'm pretty sure they'll go away after today. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I get Vicodin for the pain, and I'm on Vicodin for like a week or two or something like that. This is the part I don't remember. Because my mom, my mom swears up and down that mm-hmm. I came downstairs one day after, and I'm feeling fine, I'm walking, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer in pain. And I ask her for my pain meds. And my mom asked, why are you in pain? And apparently I looked her in the eye and said, no, they just make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I don't remember that at all. So if my mom is to believe I was just that fucked up, <laughs> I was that <laughs> fucked up on prescription painkillers and I was just in a haze looking for my next fix. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey. And I just, I don't remember that at all. But again, what reason would my mom have to, like, lie about that? I don't know. Trick you into thinking that you're more drug-seeking than you actually are, so you won't do drugs? Maybe, but, like, she wasn't just telling me. I heard the story first when she was telling my grandma about it. <laughs> That's Why fair. Would she Why would she tell your grandma, grandma about that? No idea. <laughs> but no, that that's totally fair. The only time, because I've never had anything, like, major medical done at all. Right. So, uh, the only time I've ever been given anything of any significant consequence, and I have no idea, uh, what it was, but when I was in, like, middle school, I had to get a tooth taken out, and they gave me a pill to take before I even went to the dentist. Right, to calm me down. Yeah. Like a Valium or something? I don't know. I think Valium, because that's what they offered me. Uh, I didn't end up getting one, but but they, yeah. Where's their Jeep? Uh, probably on the other uh, side. But whatever it is, the 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 feeling it that it produced, I would describe as high as all hell. Right. That's yeah. and uh, I took it, and I can remember telling my mom, "Man, these are great. I don't know why people don't take these all the time." And it's like, oh. <laughs> It's That's because why. you're a druggie when you do that, and it's not <laughs> ideal. Yeah, that is exactly... Why don't people take these all the time? That question is exactly why. <laughs> yeah, and, uh... And, I mean, here's the thing, right? Like, I've gotten drunk a bunch of times. Right. And some of those times have been really, really great feelings. That's awesome. And I've been high on pot a couple of times. And it was fine. Man, if I could get another one of them pills, though. <laughs> I, I, I hear you. That was more than half my life ago that I took this pill. And you're still chasing that high. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to attack. Get in, bro. I'm trying. Pardon me, sir. Hell yeah, let's take this guy for a ride. Oh, I can't look at my fucking watch while I'm in the Jeep, obviously. Right. Well, yeah, because that'd be irresponsible. What if you hit somebody while you're driving? (laughs) (laughs) What if you don't hit somebody while you're driving? Even worse. And then they get you. Oops, uh, I hit a tree. You ever hit by a car? No. I did. Did you? Yeah. It was real bad. I'm shocked. How old were you? Uh, High school age? I I do not remember this, and we would have been friends probably at that point. I didn't mention it because I was kind of scared to say anything at the time. Uh Uh-huh. Well, because I was fine, clearly. Well, yeah. I'm fine. I I never went to the doctor. But, um, yeah, I was walking to my school bus in the morning. Um, real close. But you gotta go, you gotta go across this road that's on this hill that, like, no one ever fucking sees. Anybody. Total blind spot. Horrible Mm. hill. Bad neighborhood. Anyway. Um... Well, some fucking lady, because I wasn't paying attention out of my music again, so I guess it's both of our fault. <laughs> um, but I say, I wasn't paying attention, and some lady comes screeching up the fucking hill, and like, she's coming up, she like sees me in time to start stopping, so she doesn't like fucking slam into me. Right. Well, um, but there was probably like a two to three foot, like, impact zone where oh, like geez. I, I would have crossed over with the car right well I see it coming just soon enough that I was able to like 
jump up and do like a karate kick off of the fucking <laughs> hood. And like it still set me fucking tumbling a couple like 16, 20 fucking feet. But it didn't splatter you all over the road. Right. Well, and like, and there were these guys, I was the, I was the first one on my bus stops. So no one that I went to school with saw it, mm. but there were some guys who were working on the house that was like right across from where I got hit. So they came out to check on me and that lady was fucking gone. Oh, of course. Like she was fucking gone. Well, yeah, she just hit a kid with her car. Um, and so these guys were checking on me and I'm such a goddamn people pleaser. I, I stood up and I was like, guys, I'm good, I'm good, I'm, good. I'm fine, I'm fine. And I was like, oh, no harm done, I wasn't even bleeding or anything. I like, like, my arm was like rubbed from the road, but like I was fine. It was low, it was low impact, low speed. I was, I was fine until I got to school and the adrenaline wore off and my leg yeah. hurt like a motherfucker. I'm not surprised by that. And like I was able to walk, so I'm like, okay, my leg's not broken, but whatever. And I'm just, I'm just sitting there all day, and my leg still hurts, and like calmed down a little bit by the time I got home. But like, my leg still hurt for like three days. But I had like worked up this narrative in my head, like, okay, if I tell anybody that I got hit by a car, I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> so I just didn't say anything, and the pain went away after like a week or two. Well, that's good. <laughs> but I just didn't say anything. None of my friends knew. I was. I don't know what I had done to convince myself, like, okay, that I'm no gonna, one could know. Or no else. one can know that I got hit by a car, or else I'm gonna get in trouble. And I, I'm sure it breaks down to like a fucking. I'm, I'm looks. I'm gonna look so stupid. I got hit by a car and then didn't run home crying to mommy. Mommy, I got hit by a car. Take me to the I, hospital. I went to school the whole day before I came home. <laughs> You're, I'm gonna go home and my mom is just gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna give you something to go to the hospital about. <laughs> right. It's like completely irrational fucking fear. But I just, I had just completely convinced myself that that was what was gonna happen. So that's why God. nobody knew that I had gotten hit by a car. God, bro, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I Man, no you know, idea, dog. when we first met, I thought, man. Sacred is a, you know, at least as far as, like, 15-year-old guys go, he's not a complete idiot. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was so wrong. You had me so fooled, bro. <laughs> that was the people-pleaser part of me, but now I'm not worried about <laughs> pleasing you anymore. You can know that I got hit by a car and just didn't tell anybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Is this fucking Jeep just invincible? I think so. Well, I, I, I can't tell if it's smoke or if that's just like reflection from the, the lights on the front. I'm not sure. Normally, because we've run over like 600 guys. I was going to run the Jeep until it stopped working. But like, we're just going to be here all day for that point. Yeah. I mean, it's starting to look like it's bending on the side plates. I think it's been like that for a while. Has it been? I don't know. I haven't paid attention. I've been talking about how I got hit by a car. That's fair. So do you, how different do you think that story would be if it was Frank West driving this <laughs> Jeep in that story? I don't think Frank West would have ran away. I think he would have gotten out to double tap, finish the job. <laughs> and then took some pics. <laughs> yeah, then took some pics. Nice. <laughs> Brutality. <laughs> uh, we'll keep running over zombies until we get to 2,000, because I need more points. Hell yeah, we do. But actually, I, I don't think... I don't know. I'll have to look uh, when once the episode goes out, because I don't remember for sure, but I, I don't think we've gained like hardly any EXP. Well, there you you go. Know, these 500s are barely doing anything to right. our bar. I don't think killing zombies in the car gets you points. I just think the number of zombies killed, like obviously what? you get milestones, stuff like that. That's crazy. I could be wrong, because I'm also not noticing that bar go up at all. Now that I'm looking at it. That's fair. Granted, it's only 500. That's true. The 500 and, are not even making and a And the dent. Psycho Pass, I'll give you, like, at least 10,000. Right. So, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, I don't probably. know. We'll, we'll run over 27 more guys, and, uh... Oh, wait, it's, it's dying! It is smoking! Okay, all right. So, yeah, it is just... So, yeah, let's wrap this fucking baby till it can't run no more. <laughs> Well, now we got to see how many zombies it can kill. The answer is obviously a lot. I'm pretty sure we're up past, like, 800. Yeah, we've definitely killed a lot of guys. Hey! hey there was a special in there somewhere. Uh, no, we, we passed 2,000 kills, so we got oh, the special okay. number of kills. Uh, one of the achievements for this game is killing, I forget exactly how many, it's like 53,000-something. Mm. And it at the beginning of the game, you see whatever this town is called, population however many. Right. And you have killed that many zombies. So that you've quote unquote killed the whole population of the town. 
obviously there's still zombies, right. which is fucking lame. There's still if just they, as many. If they had programmed it where once you killed that many, they're just there dumb. were no more zombies, that would be fucking hilarious. Dead Rising would be the greatest game of all time. Imagine the completionist fucking speed run for that, where you just gotta kill every single zombie. And then someone's running around with a ch like a chicken with their head cut off. They're about to, they they're about to either hit world record or they're about to completely fucking tank it. Oops. But they gotta find one random zombie they missed. It's bumping into the wall in the third <laughs> mall's food court or some shit. Oh, you you think they're like this is a specific number for each given area? Yeah. It's like fucking Undertale. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Man, what Undertale the show, bro? Uh, I don't know. I was actually talking to Ian and Casey about that the other day. I want to play... Well, actually, we were talking about Undertale and Yellow, which I guess is like a fan game or something. Yeah, I guess. Um, I, don't, I don't know shit about Undertale. <laughs> I don't really either. Like, the only experience I have with it, I watched all of Game Face's Let's Play of it when it was brand new, which was like a billion years ago now. Right. And then Cranon and I played like four episodes in the before time when we didn't have a Let's Play show yet. Right, and so we didn't, didn't make happen. any episodes. Uh, but I'm like, man, I kind of want to play that. At the same time, it's like fucking ten years old now. Yeah, and everybody has played it. Yeah, and so Every, part all of me the is routes, like, not much you can do with yeah. Undertale now. And so part of me is like, man, it's probably not worth the hassle. But part of me is like, man, but fuck it, it's okay to make things just for yourself. But then a part of me is also like, man, but we're actually we've got twice as many subscribers now as we ever had before. Right, if we had ever had subscribers, which we didn't. True. This is the we, first time. Well, yeah, because we had no channel. You can't, have, you can't have subscribers if you don't have a channel. God, if I were these zombies, I'd be looking out for this Jeep by now. <laughs> I don't want to say that I'm smarter than all these people, but damn, they're fucking dumb. Can someone make a mod of this game where the, the oh, zombies fuck. have, like, the same learning oh, AI as, like, the xenomorph in Alien <laughs> Isolation? God, and when Alien Isolation on the show. Dude, we've talked about this anytime. I, I, wanna, I want to play it. I've never played it before, and I want to. Same. <laughs> There's no way it would ever possibly work with, as a Let's Play show. No. But part of me wants to have the thing where it, like, it has the head tracking and it has the, the voice... Uh, monitoring. Oh, yeah. And it's like, man, the Xenomorph would be all over us literally all the time. <laughs> There's just so many stretches of our show where we're just fucking whispering and it still hears us. See, and that to me would be really funny if, it like, whispering really was enough that it worked. I'm not sure it's going to die after all. No, dude, it's smoking. It's it just, is. It took a really long time to start smoking. It did. It took a very, very long time. But now it's like super smoking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's basically dead. And it's definitely taken more like damage on the side. It has definitely gotten skinnier. And we're about to hit another special kill cap, probably. Hell yeah, bro. Gonna kill the whole population just in this courtyard because they keep Oops. coming back. I know. Pretty foolish of them. I'd go literally anywhere else if I was them, but. Oh, yeah. Like, I get it. I get why they just did it so zombies respawn literally the second they're off screen. Oh, like, it's I, not a special one. Shit! No! Like, yeah, I get it. But at the same time, it would be really fun if there's just, like, a mode where there is just a finite number of zombies. True. That'd be and, great. And you can just kill them all. And, like, yeah, it, that'll fucking kill the replay value because it's just like, okay, well, now, now that you've killed all the zombies... There's just nothing to do on that save anymore. Right. Oh, for sure. But at the same time, I just want to do it. I just want to kill all the zombies I can just one time. Hey, oh, there it goes. Dead. We did it. Next time on the show, gaming, we'll do it again. <laughs> we won't. <laughs>